Hello, it's Paul. I wanted to show you a way of segmenting uh, your contact list where you can do funky things with it later on using tags. You can use tags in um, accounts, in contacts. See where it says add tags in leads. Uh, I haven't got any leads on here, but basically in contacts. So, for instance, with, with this training course for the membership stuff, you may put in this Abraham Cratch is a member. So I've already done a um, showing you about tags in a previous video. So I tag this as member, but if I want to add um, a different tag, I can put in what what would it be? A member, um, it might also be a, an affiliate member. And you just put a, a new, uh, and if it's not already in there, you just click new. It might be um, a vendor. And you put that in so you just saves right so now when you go up when i i usually have on my um screen is tags i always usually have tags showing so i click tags on the filter and show it let me get rid of some of the other stuff so i know it's contact me i don't want a phone number right so when i look down now i can see all these people are members but i could also tag add tags and then just click uh, that one's an affiliate and when I go back so it now says affiliate this one might be a vendor so that now says these people are certain types of contacts so you don't have separate CRMs you have one CRM with with all your um, different types of contacts in so what you can then do uh, is you know if you go to something like Zoho campaigns um, where is it campaigns for your newsletters I probably haven't done it in this yet uh, you can say anybody with that tag put them in this list now I don't use it a lot so um, start making engage invites or create a list so I might put members newsletter uh, can subscribe can subscribers join this list via so yes oh, welcome to the list you probably put something better than that create right uh, import subscribers add subscribers uh, da -da -da. I didn't do it enough do I? how did I do it last time I'm not gonna do it that way I'm going to Oh, my computer was beeping. Let me turn it off. Add another subscriber. Email. Da -da. I don't. I don't. If you know, if you're watching any of my videos, I don't send out emails <laughs> via here. But created list. So it's one list. Members. Export subscribe. Or maybe it's because I might not not be integrated. I might not be integrated with the CRM integrations. Uh, contacts not connected. Right, here we go. Oh. Generate. So I'm going to copy that. It's team are uh, happy me. Now, view details. Active. So. Well, then let me do it now. Create a list. Go to that list. Add a subscription. Import subscribers. From from CRM, right? Contacts. Create sync. Uh, custom view. So you can click on that, and it is a uh, view is is how you set up. Uh, if you've set up a view, so if I've set up a view here, right, it'll let me do that. So you can do it that way as well. But if I set up a new view, let's create view um, members and then say um, tag. Tag is members and save. Now when I go here, uh, custom view, am 
might have to refresh that page for it to pick it up. So you can pick the tag or you can pick the the um if it's a click if I had a click criteria I could have picked a tag. I should have clicked it before. But you can do it from a view as well. I'm getting a bit scatty as usual, aren't I? Sync name, members, sync, um, contact field, tag, oh, missed, tag is uh, member, does it member or members? Where's my tags? Where's my tag? Members, right? So members, and then it'll sync, uh, sync to members newsletter. Click next. It's gonna pick out first name, last name. That's okay. So retrieve once, probably once every day. Depends how many members you get all the time, right? And initiate. And it'll do a sync and it'll basically go and find anybody with a tag of called member. So that puts them in that newsletter and then you can send out based on that tag. The other option to do, uh, I always find tags are easier to, to throw around and, and filter to. But you could, in theory, if I go to this one, um, you could actually add a field that would be a, a separate pick list. I don't think I've done it on this. Depart, see how it says department. So what you do is you go to setup. This is good to know for other things that you might need because you've all got your own industries where you, you want your own fields. So you go to accounts, accounts, standard. And now if I wanted to add that type, I would pick list. I'd drop a pick list in, right? Um, did that go? I think it did. Pick list. I just drop it there, right? And just put um, contact type. And I would put member, uh, vendor. Oh, add affiliate sales salesman. The, the only problem with this. Is uh, and you have to select a default value, and you might even put to be decided as the default value, right? Um, da -da. to be decided display values alphabetically required. You can make it required if you want. Show to tip. I'm going to leave it for now, right? So when I save that, so it's just showing you that you can add, you've got all these different options of extra fields that you can put. When you've paid for it if i go to contacts now i can go to this first one and on contact type i can click edit and just tick which which um type of member it is the only issue with that is that you can only have one field in there you can only add, you can only pick one type where at the top i can say this is a um, a member and a vendor and an affiliate the one at the bottom uh, can it can only be one thing um when you work when you go into workflows as well you can start saying well if if this person gets a an invoice or pays an invoice for whatever that membership fee is you could go from like up here you could have a free member oh you could say this when they first start this is a free member but the, the automation could say, when you go to workflows or something, if, if an invoice comes through, then remove free member and add paid member as a tag, right? So that would automatically also, when it did that, it would automatically in, in Zoho campaigns, take them off the member sync of free. If this was now a free membership newsletter, it could remove them from that free membership and put them into the paid membership. So a lot of people use email automation for people signing up into email once now, email again in four days, email again two weeks later, all those sort of marketing tactics.
uh, whether you like them or not. It's a way of doing it. And then when they click a certain thing or when they reach a criteria that you can then say, right, they've done that. Now move the tag, change the tag to something else. And it can become, they go into another list where you then move into different sort of sales tactics, sales strategy, whatever you want to call it. So I wanted to do a quick video. I got a bit sky because um, I don't use it as much as I should, but that's how you do. That's how you deal with segmenting that contact list. You can do it again with your, you can do it with your accounts. You can do it with your potentials, uh, your deals. Sorry, where's deals there? So if I can find a deal, and if you know, I could go. I can put tags up here. So uh, sponsorship for this one is. So you can tag your deals as well. So again, you can do different filters, different filters in your reporting based on tags. Uh, and it's a really easy way to sort of manage them and, and throw people around a little bit. Cool. Any questions? I'm sure you have after that um, bizarre video. Uh, just ask away. You know where I am.